All right, so I'm super excited about today. We're actually here in the Douro Valley region here in Portugal where they make port wine. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going on a boat trip through the Axel River before we start tasting some, uh, some port wines. Super excited, there's a lot of history here and everything. The Romans were here when it came to um, producing port wine, when it came to producing wine. But I'm here with another Airbnb experience because y'all know I love these now. So we can get an authentic experience with trying port wine and actually being here in the valley. So let's see how it goes. Some people can call it a bodega, a farm, a chateau, but the, the name the name we give, it's wine estate. This quinta is very important for us, for the Portuguese, for the population from the Douro region. This quinta was built and created by a Portuguese family. It still belongs to a Portuguese family, a Portuguese company. It's Real Compañia Velha. In English, Royal Oporto Wine Company. And they are still a Portuguese company. So, right now, you will have some snacks we have. These are some crackers with goat cheese from here. And then on the top, we have a pumpkin jam. Oh, pumpkin, pumpkin jam is good. Oh, I, I had some in Central. Right. It's fire. I oh, it, but not this. And this pumpkin jam is perfect. back again on a cracker. Mm, exactly. It's perfect. Here, this is a special bread, and in fact, I'm honored to, to present you this bread because it's from my hometown, Favaios. This bread it's still made in oven, uh, in uh, wooden ovens, like back in the days, and uh, the recipe has more than 100 years. Okay. Then we also have what we have here. Here we have ham, we have pork sausage, and then we have the caviar from Douro. It's not caviar, of course, mm -hmm. it's an olive paste. Here we have uh, olive oil, we have olives, and we also oh, have Oh, I've garlic. tried olive bread before, it's delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this bread just by myself, it's so tasty. Here, by one thing, here, thank you. I'm telling you guys, there's just something about being in Portugal or just being in Europe and having sandwiches with so many different meals. Like, here I am on the Douro Valley River, eating a sandwich, meeting new people. Finally met someone from Puerto Rico. Gotta love my Puerto Ricans out there, everyone. If you haven't been to Puerto Rico, you gotta go to Puerto Rico. Don't just think about the Bahamas, but Puerto Rico. That being said, we're about to end the tour and we'll see what else we get into here in the Douro Valley region. Alright, so one of the reasons why it's so good to go on an Airbnb experience like this is the fact that you take small stops with just a small group. So I'm only here with like one, like five, six people, and we have this great view by ourselves. This great vineyard, everything here in the Duro Valley region. We are producing one in here by the end of the Roman Empire since the, hello, since the second <laughs> century before Christ. Yeah? This road that we are doing in here all over and we'll continue to do it. This road was created, was designed, opened by fire, like they say, the second century after Christ. Wow, wow. Yeah. So we just finished the boat tour and we came up to an Instagram spot to take some nice photos, some nice views of the river, the vineyards, and now we're going to head to a winery to actually take some port wine. So all in all, Airbnb experiences, I'm telling you guys, you should definitely do this whenever you're out here in Portugal. So we just made it to the first vineyard here and actually interesting enough, multi a lot of the vineyards here are owned by British companies, but this one that we're at is actually owned by a Portuguese family. So we're gonna see uh, how this port wine tastes. Hopefully I like it, but you know me, I typically do not like sweet wines. I'm more of a dry red wine kind of person, but I love wine, so we'll see. And since the first day that we buy the grape from the locals, we produce wine and sell for the big companies. We are like an intermediate company and almost like Jesus, so we transform grapes into wine in this case. Uh, but eight years ago, my parents, they decided to start the family brand called Quinta do Peijo. And with this beautiful DOC white, the first level of DOC wine, so it's a wine that you can drink all day long or 
all night long, all night. Oh my god, yes, I know. <laughs> I could probably have one glass of this, probably just one glass. Now you're talking my language, red wine. Red, red wine. Definitely better than a 7 Eleven wine. Definitely better. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's interesting. He's gonna throw me in the barrel regardless of me. This one wins first. I would definitely drink this one if I was very sad and if my girl broke up with me. This is the wine I would definitely choose to drink by myself during very sad and depressing times. But also, by a river, when I'm happy. We have a wine expert here. So, so what is it? I'm still trying to define. I'm not sure if it's woody, but definitely stronger than a Tempranillo. Perfect first wine tasting. You gotta love the meat and the sides. No one else was getting it, but you know, me. I guess it's the Texan in me. Now we're headed somewhere else. I probably shouldn't talk my mouthful, but it's okay, my mom's not here. So we put the grapes inside until our beautiful knees and during the evening we gather on friends and family, aka free labor. <laughs> we take up our beautiful shoes, our socks, we wash the feet, it's very important, always after the stomping. <laughs> and between two and four hours we smash the grapes. Wow. Singing, dancing, drinking and most important of all, drinking. <laughs> okay? And with this Thor hammer as a defect, okay, I throw but never comes, and we bang this door, okay, and then we take the door out, and then on sideways we crawl in. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Be careful with your head, man. Oh my gosh. Oh man. So this is a. Uh... Where I'm going to be working at pretty soon. Apparently, I'm going to be here for a day. I'm only going to last a day here, but I'll prove the Portuguese wrong and I'll work here the entire harvest. And you can see on this barrel a guy coming out. He's giving birth. And it's a boy. <laughs> okay, I'm about to taste my first port wine. We'll see if I like it, even though I'm a dry, slash bold kind of guy. So I guess we'll find out. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> wow. This is very interesting. It's very interesting. I feel like I'm tasting alcohol for the first time again. That's what I feel like. Never thought I'd be served by someone with five generations worth of history. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, second bats. Uh, bottles open might be poison. I might not be able to post this video. I, I like the other one better. This one's okay, but I like the other one better. Definitely. So, I know I say this a lot on how beautiful Portugal is, but just had the best experience tasting some authentic port wine here. It tastes very different if you've tasted whiskey vodka it's like another different type of alcohol so like you feel like you're being brand new like entering a new world with tasting alcohol so right now we're headed to get lunch right now and i just bought some port wine i'm getting it shipped back to the states and i also do plan on coming back to this uh this portuguese port winery or this portuguese winery and working here in september i know it's probably gonna be back breaking labor but it's free, uh, free labor for them, and I get a place to stay here in Portugal, so why not? When I tell you guys, I think I've died and gone to heaven. Literally just came from the winery. I walk in, and I get handed another glass of wine. Very beautiful place that we're at right now. Uh, and it is the, the way that original uh, families with the fireplaces, even soups, they use these iron pots for cook the food for the family, okay? They don't use, they don't have, of course, electricity, all right? So we try to replicate here the original way 
like the ancient people or the ancient family lives in the Douro Valley and I try to you to show definitely the most authentic way. So right now I'm in a traditional Portuguese kitchen right here, um, here in the Douro Valley region and we're gonna watch the chef work his magic. It's amazing, you will see. Hey, Josh, what are you doing here? Okay. 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 Salute. It's what we call the black pork. Pork preto. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, so first thing, pork. Well, I have the passport, might as well. No, I actually live there. Oh, so you just you traveled back there? Okay, the chef, what he was doing back there? Yeah, I just. Yeah, I do. Definitely was getting the juice. This is good. This is good. Everything on this trip is so good so far. Like, I just don't want it to end. Well, we have two objectives for the day, right? Okay. Or actually, uh, two hashtags, like I told you. One is call manual, right? If you need anything, just call manual. And another one is exceed expectations, like I think we are putting yes. amazing products here in the table, right? Yes. Come on, best for the best. Right? Great one. Best for the best. Okay, the, with these guns here, right? Okay, <laughs> special for you, my friend. Okay. So, if you want more medium red, tell me, okay? I need to listen to your feedback all the time. But this, my friends, like I told, is directly from the fire to here. If you need to put more in the fire, tell me, okay? Come on. So these mashed potatoes were straight from the fire, not just that stove top in America, but straight from the fire. The Portuguese know what they're doing out here when it comes to food. That's right, my friend. Check the food here. Just look the olive oil there, Rob. Check, check the olive oil in the, in the corner there, you see? If you want right. to record the best guide, so, you right. need to record to me. Right. The rest is boring. Ah, I don't know, my guy seems like he's the best out here. Thank you, ah, very much. Ah. I am. That's the truth. Manuel, thank you. So the crazy thing is, like, this whole group of all these tour guides, they're all family out here, and they're really making this a family business, just serving great people, Doing all of this for everyone, like just look how many people out here. Like we at least have like 20, 30 people out here for this Airbnb experience and it's truly worth. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity here. Like I can't make this up. Like just just look at just look at the service. You can't get great service like this just anywhere. If you're already a family. I'm not. Yeah, thank you. Oh man. Like I said, the food just keeps coming and coming. Alright, so now we're about to try uh this meat. I got arms. <laughs> mm. Just look at this. And then more wine being poured. It's more wine being poured. So, interesting story. I left to go film the chef in the kitchen. I came back and I had red wine. This is taking me back to Austin, Texas, where there's just shots all around me. Oh, goodness, do you have enough wine? Do you have enough wine? I probably didn't have enough because you had like a, a special plate just for me. Codfish and potatoes because I don't eat meat. So, highly recommend it, people. Awesome. You're in Portugal, awesome. you can cheers yourself. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't stop at all. I literally was like almost done with my red wine and then they poured me more red wine. Like, I'm telling you right now, if you come on this trip, just take your time with drinking. If not, like, your glass is never going to be empty at all. And then more food. Like, really getting my money's worth on this trip with this experience and everything. Alright, so we're here with Manuel. And he is the owner of this company, the Airbnb Experience. So you gotta tell me and everyone else, why did you start this and how is it going so far? My friend, uh, let me tell you, being honest with you, uh, it was, I'm a software engineer, you know, a financial crisis in 7, 8, 9, 10, you know, many people in this world change his life, and in the end, I give what I have from my heart to my guests, my friends, and that's what we have here. It's our passion in the table, what I can say. I'll show the best way of life I can see cooking with a fire, with a farm-to-table chef. We try to show you some wineries, you know, but in a different way, not the factories, the factories, the commercial market of the Douro Valley, you know, Napa Valley, uh, Bordeaux, Champagne, it's always the same, my friend, you can do a wine experience all over the world. My boy, 
Nuno there, and also, you know, my other boy, my oldest boy here. Hey, come on, Joe, here. My oldest boy here, all right? With my cousin there, and my Hello. other cousins there, so. My Hello. 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 This is passion, 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 passion for these people that are living this day that we want to give it for you, my friends. All right, so it just does not stop at all. Now we have dessert. I don't know what it is. Is it good? Am I going to die if I eat it? No. She's the Maybe in heaven. Maybe you die and go to heaven. She's like the royal, you know, taster. So if she dies, we're not going to eat it. <laughs> I am purely alive and happy. Mm, we're gonna give it five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing too, you can't forget the coffee after finishing your meal so you don't get too tired. We are in here applying some hot to the iron tongue. So then you'll see opening a vintage bottle of port wine by fire. Exclusive events. <laughs> Yeah? So guys, with this, you can do whatever you want, you can touch it because this doesn't break the glass, this melts it. So you can shave if you want, you can do whatever you want, you can touch in here, we don't have any trace of glass. So in this way, as you can see, we can take perfectly the cork without damaging it. I promise this is the last uh, drink we'll taste here. This port wine, very vintage, very old, so. It is good. And it smells very, very, you can smell the alcohol in it, but you can really truly smell, it smells almost tropical, but not just tropical just yet. I'm telling you, if you've never had port wine, you haven't really drank alcohol at all yet. So because this is far is not in the right side, you know? Yeah. <laughs> because it pays like I paid 20 years to do that. <laughs> Why? Whoever I marry, this is going to be my wedding. You don't know what it is, but I know what it is. <laughs> oh. I'm in a celebrity too. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. I appreciate it. Ciao. So we're headed back to Porto. Your boy is definitely a little bit buzzed. I bought a bottle of wine. It's gonna be at my wedding whenever I get married. And it's a naked bottle of wine, so you don't know what it is, but I know what it is. And I got it from here from Portugal. So we'll see you guys in Porto. So I'm telling you guys right now, best Airbnb experience right now. Definitely in the top one. Met all these random people, more Canadians, more Canadians, and obviously the best, the best host out here. The best one in the family. Thank you very much, man. With that being it said, it was a pleasure to be with you. Hi, Internet. No matter where you are in the world, Asia, North America, I hope you have a great day, evening, whatever. Ciao, bueno noche. Yeah, come to Porto.